Hi Art Scholars, I just wanted to um, make you a video to talk you through how we do something called enlargement drawing, which is where you take an object, for example, one of houses is here, um, and we draw it much bigger um, to create a different type of impact on the page. So you can see my scissors here, this is the size of my page, but well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use these, I'm probably going to draw that handle, part of this handle, and part of the blades as my drawing. Um, now the aim for the next couple of weeks is to have a go at drawing equipment, basically. So you've got scissors, um, a pencil, if you've got some kind of print stick or glue, um, a felt tip pen, anything that we use to draw and create with is what we're going to draw ourselves. Um, the good thing, the reason we do this is because they are Quite unusual or they are quite normally long and thin so creating an enlargement or creating a drawing from that is a really good way to make sure we're observing properly and we're getting things called scale so the size of it correct um, and we're making sure that everything is in proportion to different parts so I'm going to start to draw this out first um, and then I'll talk you through how I did it okay so I've just drawn this out I just wanted to talk you through um, how I did it so I've tried to go twice as big so when I've seen this measurement here this one here. I've tried to make that one just about twice as big um, and when I've done this measurement here of the bottom hand I've tried to make it nearly twice as big. I'd say maybe it's one and a half times as big. Um, you can measure it if you want to, you can use a ruler, um, but it's actually quite good practice just to do it by eye. Um, the, there are key things that I did here. So what I did is I did the top layer of the scissor, see here the lighter green, and then I added in the darker green side here where it's a bit shat with shadow and I also just realized I need to add in this curve here where you've got that darker part this is in there as well I then added in the uh, the blade and the button or this kind of the piece that secures the blades together and that is 3d so again I've tried to show that as 3d as well and the blade uh, it goes straight this way but the blade here goes down it curves around and then it straightens up um, so make sure that when it, whatever you are choosing to draw and choosing to enlarge that you make sure you follow um, how it's been made basically and really observe the curves. Now the one thing I struggle with is this handle here, this one. This one's got quite a natural curve to it. This one here, this bit there, I need to smooth out a bit because I've made it a little bit, a little bit lumpy. But I'm hoping that when I've added in my shadow and my shading um, that it will start to look a bit more realistic. But that definitely, this curve here, I'm not happy with so I'm going to fix that. I've just added in some shade to start making this look more 3D. Um, so I just thought I'd talk you through it. So um, I've got all the shade in the handle here, but again, I think I could still make that deeper. I think it needs to be that. This hole here is too big, so I'll make that a bit deeper. Uh, this one looks okay, looks about right. Uh, I've added, shaded in the green, and I will shade in these two. Um, and there's a very dark shade here where the blades join. Um, and then I've added in just the side shade of the blade. Uh, now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add in more shading um, to show that it's not white because everything should have a little bit of shading if it is a colour. Um, and then I'll improve this handle here again. And I'm also going to add in a shade underneath the scissor because you can see as the light's hitting, there is a very, very black shadow here and a little shadow on the table. So I need to show that too to make it look what's called grounded, and make it look more real. Okay, so here is my um, nearly finished pair of scissors. Um, you can see I've added in some lighter marks here and some dark shadows, and I've also got the shadow that's hitting the table as well. You can, if you want to, draw the background, um, but it's not essential. It's, we're really looking at trying to make the object look 3D, and I do think this does look 3D, a um, few. <laughs> um, a few key things. Now, I've just noticed, actually, that I could do a bit of a mark here, so I'm just going to add that in. Um, when you're doing this, try not to move your object. You can move the paper wherever you like. But try and keep the ob this object, or whatever object you're working from, in the same position to keep the shadows the same. That's really quite important. Um, and then, um, I'll trip with a rubber. You can see, because this is plastic and the metal is quite shiny too, there's a few white highlights. So I'm just going to use a rubber to add those in to finish this off. So there's a highlight over here. I'm just going to add that in. There's a little one over here. And I've got, of course, you could use a smaller... Um, rubber if it was easier. Actually I might, I'm going to swatch my pencil rubber. So I'm just going to follow this line down here. There's a highlight down here. There we go. There we go, 
Okay, and then there's a bit of a highlight here on that part of that blade. Um, and there's a highlight down here, but I don't think I can see this bit. So if you see this bit here, I don't think, I think I've cropped that. Um, and if you crop your image, don't worry, because it's better to crop it than to try and squeeze it on, because it won't look right. Um, there's a little bit of a highlight there too. So you can spend hours on this. Um, I wouldn't want to spend hours on it. Maybe, um, see if you can do two, uh, and maybe spend half an hour on each um, and see how they turn out. You can try enlarging even more, maybe two or three times, uh, or four times, um, especially with like a pencil, because they are so thin, it can be quite interesting to do a very large pencil. Um, send me a photograph via email if you would like some feedback. Um, otherwise, enjoy. Oh, and one more thing I can just see. Because we're working in so much pencil, can you see all these marks here? So if you get that on your paper, very normal, use a rubber and, and just rub them away to um, make sure that the page is nice and clean. Uh, thank you very much and I will see you soon, hopefully.